everyone. I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, it's been a little bit since I've done a video. Um, the one I originally had planned and scheduled ended up not working out. Um, the thing I ordered ended up getting lost, and it was just kind of like this whole mess of a situation. So um, I just had to um, completely kind of scrap that and whatnot. So this isn't going to be a very um, crazy or extensive video. I just kind of wanted to get something out there on the interwebs. Um, so here, here we are. It'll just be kind of like a little vlog. I'm just going to go to a park and everything. And then I just have a couple things I want to talk about. Um, so yeah, and I apologize for my nose. I'm looking really much so like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. But uh, it's just... Not a skin, good skin week um, this last week, so um, I'm kind of slowly recovering from that as well. Um, so um, hopefully it doesn't bother you guys too much. Um, but yeah, so without further ado, I guess I'll just take you guys along. Um, and then I will be carrying um, my, um, my Pillow Madison, um, which is kind of what I want to talk to you guys about a little bit later today. Um, just with the the pillow, um, um, pillow tabby, the quilted pillow tabby, the pillow Madison, um, those kinds of bags. Um, just because um, my video I did on the 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 tabby, the quilted tabby wristlet, um, I ended up getting a lot of um, traction and views um lately i think it's partly because of the the wider spread release of all the quilted tabbies and i just want to give just some of the thoughts i have on um just those kinds of bags um so yeah um if that interests you um please stay uh probably towards more towards the end of the video um like i said before i'm just probably gonna get um, some coffee, and then, um, uh, yeah, get some coffee and go to a park on a nice walk, um, something very relaxing and chill, because I feel like I just, I just need it after, um, this last week, just really, just a little tired, and, um, a lot of good things, a lot of not-so-good things, but we're just, um, pushing through. Um, so... Oh, and I have to, I have to, like, okay. so, um, you saw my, my bag, um, obviously. Uh, really, oop, shaking you guys a little bit. Um, so I am just really kind of excited about that. And then my, my, uh, jade rings as well. That It's just a very, um, tan basic outfit with um, some pop of green, which um, I am all for. And my hair is getting a little bit curly, I'm starting to get curly again, which I am loving. It was struggling a little bit for a while, but I think we're finally making a little bit of progress on that again. Um, so uh, without further ado, um, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video.
Hey everyone, it's me. Um, so, uh, I just came back kind of from my walk, um, and I will be leaving again. Um, I'm meeting up with a friend uh, to eat some food in West Seattle, um, so I am excited about that. I feel like it's been forever since I have been to West Seattle. Um, so I can show you a little bit about the beach and everything there. Um, West Seattle's kind of one of those places where it's like, will it be 30 minutes? Will it be an hour and a half to get there? And then you have like that time that you think will be set in your head and you're wrong because it takes two hours to get there. Um, so it's only like two o'clock right now, but I think I'm going to go ahead and skedaddle over hopefully to avoid some of the horrendous Seattle traffic. Um, if you've ever been here, then you probably know kind of what it's like um it's miserable um so i'm gonna go ahead and do that um and then take you guys along with and yeah hopefully um have some fun <laughs> just because I'm a little tired. Um, so even if I'm rambling a lot during this part, um, I will still post it regardless. Um, but I just got back from West Seattle, um, Alki Beach area, and it was such a gorgeous day today. Um, it was around like 64, 65 degrees Fahrenheit, which for the dead of winter um, is extremely warm. Um, so it was a really weird and kind of nice change of pace, to be honest, because it's just been so cold and kind of just rainy here. Um, to have a really nice day, it was uh, a needed breath of fresh air, if you will. Um, so I spent most of the day just walking around, getting my steps in. Um, and as far as my bag that I used today, um, I did use the Pillow Madison right here. I'm not sure what the color... Um, is called but I just think it is absolutely gorgeous and stunning um, so just it has your um, kind of diagonal quilting um, and it has a really puffy tag right there um, it has gold hardware um, and then some gold grommets right there and then with the chain which I really do love they have like the the leather straps woven in um, for the back part right here you do have a pocket but I feel like it's pretty small and because it is kind of padded it's really hard to fit anything back there you know I mean you can maybe do a, a card case but I think it'd be a little hard to do your phone um, 
but the bottom part right there. Um, with the Pillow Madisons, um, you have to be very careful with the C part right here because they wear so quickly. Um, so for me, that's the one gripe that I really do have about this bag is that this whole thing isn't metal, that they do have this little leather strip right here. So every time I do it, I'm like very like trying to like not touch the leather part like around it at all, um, just because I would like to preserve this as best as I can. Um, and then you just have a leather right here, and then I think it's like microfiber kind of on the sides, and then some leather, like half and half of leather. Um, but um, it's just one big open compartment. You do have a zipper um, just on this side with a story patch, and then you have like card slots um, on this other side over here. But it's a pretty good um, big space and whatnot. Um, the main reason I wore this one today was because it matched my shoes. Um, and I thought it was really cute, um, but I love the Pillow Madisons. They're probably one of my favorite coach bags just of all time, just because I just think they are so stunning and they're just beautiful. And I believe they're, um, they're all Napa leather, I believe. Um, don't fully quote me on that one, um, but that is what I believe the leather is, um, but they are just gorgeous bags and I just love how squishy they are. I like love squishing the tag but I know I don't want to like ruin it. Um, but um, I just had um, to kind of show you guys because um, I read an article saying that um, um, puffy bags are now going are now out of style and I don't care what anybody says is going out of style, which I don't think that is totally true, at least with um, the Coach Puffy bags, just because I do feel like they are a pretty minimalistic kind of silhouette to them, to where I think it would be really hard for them to quote unquote go out of style. Um, whatever, I digress. An honor for me saying that they don't and aren't going out of style and I'm gonna die on that hill, um, I decided to grab out, I think it's about all my coach puffy ones, I quickly just grabbed, a, you know, several, so I think this might be, I might be missing maybe one, or maybe two of, like, my, my puffy coach ones, if you will, um, just cause I'm a little sassy, so. Um, <laughs> I have other puffy bags, but they're not coach, but I was like, oh, I'll just do coach ones just because I don't want to grab out a million bags because I love puffy bags. Um, so, anyways, let me be sassy. Um, so, um, next, and then I obviously, you guys have seen this one. Um, this one has recently, the video has recently gained some traction, but, um, that is probably just because they release the like to the mass majority of people they've released on um, this and a couple other um, colors and the different sizes. I would love to get it in the green. I just think that's so pretty. And yes, I that's like one on my wish list or want list that I do think I will probably pick up. This is just such a stunning bag and I can't recommend this one enough, especially if you are wanting one that has a very similar Chanel-esque vibe, or if you're not sure about this one, or the one you want is sold out, um, I do think the Pillow Madison is a great alternative to that. I know it's the size is a little bit different. This is the wristlet one, not wristlet. Is it the wristlet? I can't remember totally what this one is called. Um, but just for like, um, a little shape comparison, I still do highly recommend this one if you are not too super sure on the, ta uh, the, the tabby ones, but the tabby ones are gorgeous as well. Highly recommend that, um, too. So I have this one. So I absolutely love it. Oh, I should probably show you. And then I have my my twin to this one. So this is in like this bright highlighter neon yellow 
which I just think is so fun and so different. And I just like, how many people do you know with a bright beeping yellow bag? <laughs> Um, so love this one. It has this uh, silver hardware and it's just like this bright neon um, yellow, which I love. And then let me see what else. Oh, I have this sucker right here. Um, this is the uh, Coach um, Hayden, I believe. Oh, my stuff has fallen. Um, and then this is like in this, like the baby blue, which I think is gorgeous. I really want to get this one in black. And then also, if they had one, I don't know if they have one in this color, I would die. I just, I love green. Um, but this one, also a great alternative to the, um, the tabby if you're wanting something a similar size but aren't wanting to spend the tabby price. I do think this one is a great option as well. It is very stunning and I feel like not enough people really talk about it. Um, especially the the quilted um um the puffy quilted ones um i think they are such a beautiful piece and not enough people talk about them when they really should um especially for the price that um, they're selling for highly 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 recommend i really want to get the black one um also on my my wish and want list um i have a couple more um this one is not quilted um but it is definitely puffy um, this right here is the uh, Tabby 26, and this is um, the pillow one um, in the largest size, and I just love this tag. I just want to like, like the stress relief kind of thing, um, but she is also very beautiful, and I absolutely love her. Um, I don't know if I would get another um, pillow one. I had... At one point, the small green one, the smallest um, green one, which I ended up, I think I ended up returning it just because I didn't really use it as much. And honestly, I could not fit a whole lot of stuff in it. I could fit more stuff in my Madison. So then I was like, I have one of the similar color. I don't need it kind of thing. But now, like, looking back on it, I'm like, should I have kept it? I don't know. See, now I'm still on the fence. Like, oh, gosh. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I end up getting it again, if, it, if I find one on sale or something like that. Um, but, again, I really do love the pillow um, tabbies. And even though they're, quote-unquote, going out of style, according to this article, um, I don't feel like... It has like a weird enough silhouette or anything like that to like really go out of style if you mean. I mean this isn't some like different or crazy looking bag. It's pretty much just a rectangle. That might look a little bit bigger, but I don't know. Maybe it's just me and my love for the, the, the more pillowy bags, but I really don't think it looks that crazy enough to be like, yeah, I remember that. That's 2020 kind of bag. <laughs> um, maybe, maybe I'm just a little salty. Um, but to me, I just, I think that regardless of the time period, I will still always have it and love it. And I think that, um, it is timeless. <laughs> um, but, um, this is the Pillow Tabby 26. And then I just have one more to show you guys. Um, and that is the the Dinky 19? 17? It's one of those. Um, but this um, is in, they do have, I believe they do have this green in this one, which I would die um, if I were able to get my hands on that. Um, but this one is still quite beautiful. Um, I really still do like this one. Um, it's not as soft as the other because I don't think the other ones are all Napa leather, I believe. And this one is not Napa leather. Um, I believe this one is something else. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, still leather. Um, it has that really nice metallic color to it. Um, I don't 
wear this one as much, um, but I still think that it's quite beautiful and a fun going out kind of bag, night bag. Um, it has a chain and whatnot on it. Um, and then I also kind of like that it does have like the different um, quilting than like all the other ones that are, um, you know, diagonal. This one's just going straight up and down, which I think is fun as well. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my, uh, my puffy pillowy coach bags, um, that I just had to show and share and say that they aren't going out of style and that I will die on that hill, um, because I am a little spicy and don't come for me. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, I hope that, um, you guys at least enjoyed the vlog portion of this and not me rambling on about nonsense stuff um but um i had a really great time today it was a lot of fun as i said before it was just so nice outside and it just makes me happy because i just miss the summer so much and being able to be outside and you know do things of that nature um and again, I apologize. I did have a, a, a funner video planned, but um, I think as I said earlier on in the video, um, ended up getting lost and it was just like this huge sit situation kind of thing, which it's been resolved thankfully, um, but I will not be receiving that product, um, which is very unfortunate. Um, but um, I do have, um, some more fun stuff coming out, which I hope you do enjoy. Um, I recently, I will have um, a Dooney and Bork one out soon-ish, um, which I really do um, hope you guys enjoy. Um, you seem to enjoy those, which I am really excited and um, into those bags now. Um, I just love kind of like their, the, I mean, I love the Florentine leather, don't get, it's just beautiful and just kind of like the, aesthetic and style of them. I just think they're so fun. Um, especially because sometimes if you are a bargain hunter, you can get them on the pre-love market for quite the amazing price. Um, I won't say that I got one for 10 bucks, but I did get one for $10 and I am excited to show you guys um, that one in a video hopefully coming very soon. Um, so please stay tuned and be on the lookout for that. Um, and yeah, um, I hope you guys again are just having a fantastic week and just living your best life. And um, I'll see all y'all in the next one. Ciao.